Today I'm going to show you how to do a box squat using the Smith machine for assistance. This is a bit different to a Smith machine squat where you would put the bar across your back. This is if you struggle to bodyweight squat yourself, if you don't have the hip stability, if you don't have the confidence in your legs, um, then this is a great assisted exercise to help you manage how to squat in the gym and start building you towards the gym. Squatting isn't for everybody. Squatting is, um, there's many people in the world who find being able to do a squat, even a goblet squat, or even just a bodyweight squat down to um, a box, difficult, and they need that extra assistance. And that's what this video is about. And it's coming up right now. All you're going to do is, you're gonna stay with your feet kind of apart on the box, hands on the bar, and then you're gonna push into the floor to stand up like so, and then come back down. Up like so, and then back down. Now if you wanted to do the sumo version of that, just get your feet wider, that's fine. Point your toes out a little bit and come up, and that will just reduce the range of motion a little bit, and will make you feel a little bit, maybe a little bit nicer in the hips and the lower back. That's entirely personal. Whatever you prefer is entirely up to you. Now, the only other couple of things we can change here is if we lower the bar, the harder it's going to be. So if I put the bar down here, I'm going to be pulling myself up less with the arms. And the point of this is you don't want to be pulling yourself up too much. The point is, is that we are putting the pressure into the legs. Like the tension it is still a squatting movement. But um, the hands are there to help if you need to. If you might get stuck a little bit, then the hands can help pull you up and things like that. So by putting the bar lower, then we're gonna put more of the weight into the legs. Or if you need to make it easier, set the Smith machine higher, and then you can just tug on the bar a little bit more and come up like so. Now the other thing that I'd love to see you start doing, let me just get it to a better height for me, is you see a lot of people when they squat kind of, they'll do this quite with an upright back like so. Now what you want to do is you really want to try and lean into it a little bit. So you, you, you know, you're creating a hip, what we call a hip extension as you come up and flexion as you come down and you're just coming up like so and you'll just feel that a little more in the glutes and the hamstrings. This is a really useful exercise to start introducing you to the squat pattern, to start making you feel better about squatting in the gym and there's nothing wrong with using assistance like this. Now you can get benches that decline as well and if you slowly, if you get more and more comfortable, if you need to make it a little bit harder again, then just set the bench to a decline and see if you can touch different parts of the decline as you go through the pattern and that will extend the range of motion and make it a little bit harder. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for being here and I'll speak to you really, really soon. Peace, love and protein. Ciao, ciao.